Thank you, Harsh and Anurag, and namaskar, everyone. I remember concluding the previous round of this report, paraphrasing Neil Armstrong with this quote that, one small step for technology, one generational leap for mankind. And from that small step at the beginning of 2023 to today, I see technology has enabled a sort of a modern renaissance for humanity. In 2023, India placed Vikram on the lunar South Pole with Pragyan making giant strides there. We sent Aditya closer to our son, also Aditya, to study it. India as a whole opened the gateway to the Industrial Revolution 4.0 with upgraded connectivity and infrastructure. AI became a household name. And now we are seeing the introduction of AI-enabled smart interfaces like Humane's AI pin, the Rabbit R1, and many other search AI-powered devices, which are aiming to be a smartphone alternative. And in this year, we also saw the rise of numerous applications and services which are using the power of AI. We are currently seeing Apple and Meta vying for the top spot when it comes to spatial computing and extended reality hardware. And soon we'll see this space of XR thrive. And as we gather here today to celebrate this new renaissance at the launch of the eighth edition of the Dentsu Exchange for Media Digital Advertising Report, we explore this small step for humanity to a giant leap for marketing. And to support me with this report today, this report summary presentation today, I thought of what better way than have a little technological augmentation. So presenting on the screen, Captain Crypto or as you can say, me wingman from the Renaissance era, be present here to augment my blood and bones with knots and bonds. My avatar for all my mates out there. And now together, let's leap into the Indian advertising industry and how it has fared in the last one year. The Indian advertising industry grew at a rate of 8.6% over 2022 to a current market size of 9.93 thousand crore, 193,166 crore rupees. Furthermore, it is expected to grow at 9% to cross 1,10,000, 1, 1,591 crore by the end of this year. By the end of 2025, we expect this industry to grow at a compounded rate of 9.6% to reach a market size of 1,12,453 crore. Now looking at the major contributors of this growth story. Tele FMCG contributes 34% being the biggest contributor of Indian advertising industry and it's followed by e-commerce contributing 14% and consumer durables contributing 6%. Well, in 2023, we saw immense growth from various new sectors that were previously not that big in the advertising space. We saw travel and tourism grew their advertising spends by 73% over 2022. It's followed by government sector ads growing by 62% and real estate growing by 42% over the last one year. And in the year 2024, we expect the automotive segment to see very high growth attributed to demand for personal mobility and increasing consumer demand. Now for the first time, as Harsh and Anurag mentioned, there has been a fundamental change when it comes to the media avenues where these spends are growing. In 2023, Digital media spends surpassed the persistently dominant television media spends with the largest share contribution of 44%. In 2023, 
In this year, television contributed 32%, followed by 20% contributed by print media. And continuing this leap, digital media's growth trajectory will reach 50% spends contribution by the end of 2024. The spends on television in this year will come down to 28% from the current 32%. And given the exponential nature of technological progress, we are witnessing nothing short of a renaissance of our generation. And this gets reflected in the way the digital ad industry has been driving the overall advertising industry, especially at a time when the global economic trends have seen a slowdown. The digital ad industry ended the year 2023 with a market size of 40,685 crore, growing at 36.6%. And in 2024, we expect it to grow at 25% to reach 50,857 crore. By 2025, the digital advertising industry will grow at a compounded rate of 23.49% to reach 62,045 crore rupees. The largest contributors to the digital media industry remain more or less the same. FMCG contributing 36%, e-commerce 19% and pharmaceutical 5%. However, in the last year, BFSI witnessed a growth of 75% on their digital media spends. Digital media spends in media and entertainment grew by 63%, followed by government, retail, and real estate sectors. In terms of digital media spends as a proportion of overall media budgets, telecom spends 64%, the highest among all, followed by e-commerce allocating 61% towards digital media. The growth of digital media has been driven by online video and social media. Social media contributes 30%, closely followed by online video 28%, while paid search contributes 23%. And while online video and social media have been having the fastest growth rates, there's a new entrant, advertising on e-retail platforms. And this has been transforming the digital media industry profoundly. Currently, e-retail platforms command substantial share of 22.49% of all digital media spends. And this platform has grown at a compounded rate of 24.86%, and it is expected to continue the momentum. And this widespread growth of advertising on e-retail platforms can be attributed to the direct-to-consumer models, which is now being adopted across the major product segments, along with a massive shift towards mobile commerce and online transactions, which have now become the primary mode of online shopping. Now, this modern renaissance has been bringing us collectively at the crossroads of humanity's evolution while the Renaissance till the 17th century, where my friend belongs from, was more of a cultural and an intellectual movement, which was primarily focused on scientific, artistic, and humanistic achievements. This modern Renaissance of the 21st century will be the one to elevate humanity and augment it with developments in technology, creativity, and sustainability. I call these the three pathways where this renaissance will happen and elevate humanity. The pathway of technology will be driven by a shift from internet, mobile, and social media to artificial intelligence and spatial computing. Advancements in artificial intelligence and generative AI are bringing in the next generation of business transformation and is streamlining and improving business functions at all levels. And with spatial computing, we are already seeing the impact of extended reality applications across industries beyond gaming and entertainment. For example, the education sector has been revolutionized by XR, extended reality, with learning experiences involving spatial, hands-on, and immersive lessons, bridging the gap between theory and practical. It is also bringing about significant innovations in the sectors of healthcare, sports, tourism, 
and manufacturing sectors, among others. The pathway of creativity to this modern renaissance will offer new, dimension of, new dimensions of storytelling and artistic expressions. Video advertising will continue its impact and effectiveness with artificial intelligence streamlining the entire content creation process, which will foster a more effective and empowering landscapes for brands and content creators alike. Influencer marketing is also undergoing, undergoing a major change and will flourish with the implementation of generative AI and AI, advanced analytics, along with data-driven insights. These spatial experiences brought about by extended reality, along with immersive storytelling, digital art, and the use of these advanced technologies will amplify creative voices in this domain. And these voices across diverse perspectives and areas of life will lead to global inclusivity and a kind of cultural collaboration across the globe, which ultimately benefits businesses and consumers. And the third pillar of this modern renaissance, sustainability, will be driven by the goal of carbon neutrality and supporting the green initiative of green infrastructure, mobility, and energy initiatives. We have already seen many such initiatives, even from India, like the electronic mobility mission, the push for hybrid and electric vehicles manufacturing in the country, and biofuels. This journey into sustainability will represent our deep commitment not only to make India more developed, but also a healthier planet for generations to come. And this renaissance of humanity, with technology, creativity, and sustainability as its pillars, highlights the metamorphosis of the future. A harmonious future which is shaped by commitment for interconnectedness and innovation. A future in which growth and development are synonymous. A vision of a world where technology is merely a conduit for human connection. Creativity is a universal language and sustainability is the, grinding, is the guiding principle for enduring progress. And with this metamorphosis, technology and AI will not replace humanity. I repeat, it will not replace humanity, but it will only augment it. In fact, we have a live example of this. While Hirsch mentioned that this report has used help of generative AI to write, we have not. We have used, rather, generative AI to create the artwork. So, if last year we created the first of its kind report to have the artwork designed by generative AI, this year we have taken this notch much higher as a living testament of this renaissance. We use the artwork, not the words, the artwork in this report using generative AI and augmenting that with human creativity. So this living testament of renaissance is an era where AI and advancements in generative AI are supporting human creativity and intelligence in an organic and sustainable way. And as we both log off from this presentation with a future, with a vision of a future where technology augments the advertising and marketing industry with super strengths, I can't help but remember the essence of one of my favorite superheroes embodying hope for humanity, up, up, and away. So let us all don our capes and get ready for this giant leap. Thank you, everyone.